yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I know I took a small hiatus, but I am back. Okay. I had to do it for Valentine's Day and other things. And uh, curing the the hangover of the last podcast and all that news was compressing. But now it's February 15th, 2023. And this is the sixth episode, um, if you can count on your hands, of doing this kind of thing. Now we're going to jump into Reddit and we're going to see what is on the PlayStation feed today. And there's been some announcements that are really cool. I've got them here on a post-it note, um, literally a post-it note. I know people don't use these anymore. There was still isn't a good digital version of this. And don't convince me, uh, try to convince me otherwise because I won't believe you. But PlayStation VR 2s are now to some extent in the wild. At least one person, regular consumer Joe, has gotten a PSVR 2 and was talking very highly about cinema mode, which I am very excited about. And in combination with that, I must say that Horizon Forbidden West, the follow-up to Zero Dawn, the sequel game, um, is now coming out on February 21st as part of the Pro Bundle, which means you get... <laughs> this is working out perfectly for me! Absolutely perfectly! Horizon Zero Dawn is an incredible game. I just played it through. I've got like, I don't know, 92% done in the main game and 85% in the... Anyway, it's enough. It's enough to, for me to consider that, like, toasted. That's done. I haven't 100%ed it. Don't jump on me, okay? I've only had, like, two and a half months to play with it. Um, and that was great. But now we get Horizon Forbidden West for free ahead of the April DLC that's coming. That's how I'm going to be testing Cinema Mode, is with that game. And I I can't bloody wait. I can't. That, that's just awesome. That's, like, icing on the cake. A few other things we heard about. I'm just going to tell you the kind of, like, feed top items. Wanderer. My game of the year last year from PC VR is now announced and coming to PlayStation VR 2. I didn't catch the date. I don't know when that's coming, but the fact that that's coming is fantastic. The mind-blowing one um, is that not just Firewall, obviously we know about Firewall Ultra, but now Solaris 2 is coming. I loved Solaris as a Quake player. Loved Solaris. So fast, like fluid movement that just got hammered when Pop 1 launched. I hope it makes the reckoning when it comes back. It deserves to on the platform. And if it comes to PSVR 2, which is rumor now, I would assume it's coming to PlayStation VR 2 and possibly, you know, uh, Quest as well. That would be cool. Uh, we've got Walkabout coming. That's cool. And then uh, Project Wingman, which is a surprise one. I didn't think Wingman would come to PSVR 2. Um, it was not, it was kind of plagued in its PC experience. So I'm not like super hyped about that one. Initially I was when I saw it. It's Indie Project. It's proper old school flight sim, kind of arcade, kind of sim. Um, curious. I'm curious about that one. But to have Wanderer coming and Solaris and get <laughs> Forbidden West for free. Man, it's been a good day. Feck and hell. All right, let's see what Reddit's decided to highlight in their stack. What memes they've come up with. Because man, I can't, I can't. I just, I can't, I, I can't anymore. I can't even breathe. I can't even breathe. What is with the spacing? Stop it. Don't believe them. I know that's the official way. Um, oh, here we are. Yeah, 327. The PlayStation community will finally get the ultimate VR mini golf experience coming to PSVR 2 soon. Uh, eight easy and eight hard courses and eight more DLC available when we launch. Feck and Nell. Damn. Wait, wait, is there a video? Oh, I can't do their music, I'm afraid. That's not going to work. What is it saying? Why is it so low quality? What the fuck is going on? Now oh, it's gone black. Oh, we're in... It's a horror game. I thought... Okay, here we are. Is that it? Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's just a Twitter announcement thing where they're like, Oh, look, this is the game in the background. That's what you... What's that one? What's, oh, did they? I haven't played like any of the new courses. I'm really, really lame. I'm really lame. Uh, maybe I'll convince my wife to play some of that tonight. We were supposed to do something. Anyway, that's Walkabout. Did I upvote that, please? Yes, very good. Good old Pilato getting it in there. Wing, wing, bing, bang. What else have we got? These announcements make me feel like Christmas Day now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I didn't even realize I wasn't in, in the uh, thing there. Uh, coming across, here's a few might encounter in, in VR Mirage. I saw this little fish guy and feck me. It was, it's so cute. The little clownfish. 
I can't. I just can't. I, I, I can't anymore, like, contain. I really do feel like something, like there's a vein or something going to pop in me. You just, like, look at this and you're like, oh, God. Because I've seen it on PC. But it's it's just, I don't know, to have it come. Oh, man. Oh, fish. Like, the fish going under your boat thing is one of the most real experiences. And I used to I used to live in the Caribbean. And I've been there in a boat when I was, like, a teenager. And had, like, a manta ray, you know, swim underneath you and this type of thing. It was a really interesting upbringing that I had um, as I was growing up, going from, like, Alaska to the Caribbean and stuff like this. But, yeah. I, I, you get that feeling again. You get that feeling of being like alone in a boat and, uh, and with the volume of water beneath you. It, it's a special feeling when they get the feeling of water and the feeling of buoyancy. Right. So I look forward to that too. I don't know. There's just so much here. If you're brand new to VR, like feckin' hell. Oh my God. I just... I don't, I can't even fathom what that must feel like. I mean, I'm so glad to have ridden the wave as I've done it since the beginning of the reemergence of virtual reality, you know, back with the DK1. But holy cow, look at this. PSVR 2 reviews will lift tomorrow at, that's not tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> that's uh, 15. Uh, switch, 2 o'clock, famous Italian streamer. All right. Look at that guy. Joke. Banner entry? What is that? Oh, he's throwing away. <laughs> he's throwing away his old PlayStation uh, and camera. You know, in a couple of years, that's going to look like such dated hardware. I mean, even now you look back and it's crazy. I like, I think the PSVR 2 is going to be the last, this is a little prediction. I think the PSVR 2 is going to be the last like proper helmet, you know, because it's a big thing. It's a big helmet. And, and, you know, they're going to be shrinking size and get smaller and thinner and pancake lenses and blah, blah, blah. I mean, to have something that's fatter, like a bigger form factor than even Quest going forward must be a difficult proposition. Anyway, um, No Man's Sky is a 50% off sale until the 1st of March. That's a good one. Um, for that money, there's a lot there to do. I wasn't so convinced with their... Um, with their implementation simply because there was too much HUD and you turn the HUD off then you couldn't play the game properly. It was like, I never, I never felt balanced with that. I hope they fix that. <clears throat> uh, for those worrying if PSVR 2 will work when wearing normal glasses, I think we're safe. So it's talking about a number. This is the unboxing. They did a, an unboxing of the equipment, but then they did an engineer's rundown of who's got glasses, right? And, and they, they actually, oh, I think <laughs> they've got glasses, all three of them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. That's cute. Okay. I didn't, I didn't catch what was that. The glasses issue is do the lenses of the glasses contact the VR lenses? I was hoping Sony designed it with some built-in lens protection, but I don't think they did. That's true because if you scrape glass against glass, it becomes a problem. And again, this is going to be more about um, Reddit's reactions than mine, but uh, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, official trailer. All right, let's take a look, because I've played the game, but I want to see what's it look like. I'm kind of curious. Why does that keep on muting? I don't Oh, Okay. Honestly, the visuals look pretty solid. I guess I played it on... Where did I play it? Galaxy's Edge. Did I play that on PC? I don't remember. I think it was PC I played. Um... It's not bad. It's very much just like uh, the shooter. Like they got floor reflections and stuff in there. They're like, haha, Quest, you can't do that. <laughs> actually, I don't think they're actually... Sony is is definitely been playing in their own field. You know, like they do it and they do it well and they do their own thing. But anyway, if you, if you want like um, characters and stuff like that, then I would, I would totally recommend uh, not maybe buying that game because tales of galaxy's edge the characters are pretty weak uh but as a, as a kind of a generic shooter for vr is not bad and you are in the star wars universe which again not bad doesn't blow your minds uh here we go here we go there is good almighty coconut me playing switchback vr and resident evil 8 next week <laughs> shit what is that that looks horrible what are you doing that is a 
fucking horrible image. Jesus, what a, I want to see what people are saying. I doubt you'll be playing Switchback next week. Switchback got delayed three weeks, mate. <laughs> Long time to go without blinking. No! Yeah, the people don't realize that, um, you know, there's that. If you don't like the survival horror aspect, you can pay $3.99 to unlock everything in the extra content shop, which gives you unlimited ammo and some really good guns to play around with. It will be more like an action game. It also unlocks the lightsaber. What? Really? That's weird. Uh, PSVR 2. Waiting has no limits. Waiting for review embargo. That's I love that, by the way. Waiting for card charge. Waiting for delivery. <laughs> good old pa uh, Pablo Escobar. And um, and Narcos is amazing. It's really good. And here we go. This is Nathy's thing. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Do we want to see an update? All right. I feel bad because Nathy always gets hammered. And payment for charging station has went through. No TV. Same for me. It's been okay. I call bullshit. Uh, um. He's not had his payment gone through. Just the charging dock. Oh no! Not again, dude. Is that... Uh, don't do it. Don't... Uh, why do we bother, right? Um, <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! This is the comment! I'm sorry. I fucking love this stuff. I love, like, this divisive, like... Yeah, yeah. I love... I don't know why. I just love... Nom, 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 nom. This is what I'm on Reddit for. All right. Good. Uh, catch some people up. Um, Nathy did a video which he was unboxing, and he didn't unbox. He just did, played with the demo unit, and um, a lot of people were pissed off about that. Me too. And uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Uh, Moogle Kupo says, good. So now he will finally be able to do an unboxing video of an actual consumer headset and not prance around in the dev kit prototype version, acting like he was swimming in Call of the Mountain when all he had access to was the menu screen and fast travel games, his unfinished quest ports. Nathan could fuck off with this meeting, misleading BS for clicks. No respect for him after the deceptive crap he pulled for self-promoting purposes. Yep. Oh, this is the whole thread. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to devolve, man. It was it. It was it. Anyway. Okay. Uh, see, this is what I don't get. Like, I guess there's enough people who still don't mind um, having the wool pulled over their eyes. This is what we're here for. Here we go. I've been playing games since consumer computers came out and owned most of the original consoles. I have seen how far games have come along, and this is the first time I really felt like something new is happening in the industry. I played VR when it was just a cardboard box with your phone to the Quest 2. Um... I played VR when it was just a cardboard box with your phone. To the Quest 2. That's a confusing statement. None has really hooked me, though. I hope this is what does it for me. I'm titled to compare with that. I feel like a kid again. This is it, Mom. But maybe not. A little bit confusing. All right, what else? I played so much VR in my index, it was hard to pull out my PSVR. This would be great because it's an enhancement over my index in every facet. Yeah. True. Yeah, a lot of people, the thing is, they don't understand that the extras, to some extent, are what make PSVR 2 special. I mean, that's what I see when I see it. I don't just see, oh, it's a headset, it's got a good resolution, um, and it's not got like, artifacts in your face. Although there's meant to be some mushy Moira stuff going on. I don't know, I need to try it out. But for me, it really is like the facial haptics and the the controllers and that whole scheme. Um, I'm really curious about tracking, how they solve the tracking problem. I'm really curious about the boundary, the guardian system and how those will interact. But I think it's going to be easy enough to just unbox it and just game with it. And RE8, I've said it before, RE8 is my, um, it's my number one. That's the first thing I'm going to play. I know Horizon looks tempting and all that, at, which is now a just shy of 50 gigabyte download. I know it looks tempting, but I'm going to hold steady. I'm going to hold steady. And we're going to go go through. Um, I'm losing my, my plot again here. Wanderer, Remastered, Gorn, Solaris, off... Gorn? Shit, Gorn is... Oh my god! 
Oh no, don't buy Gorn. Don't feckin' buy Gorn. Buy every other game, please. Please don't buy Gorn. Please don't buy Gorn. You will smash your TV. You're gonna pull your PlayStation to its death. Don't buy Gorn. Don't buy Gorn. It's an awesome game. The game is amazing. The dev deserves your money. But if you buy the game, don't play it. Okay, buy the game. Give it. Give the dev your money. Don't play the game. That's my suggestion. Just trying to be safe. It's gonna hurt. So it's gonna hurt somebody. Someone's gonna bust their machine. Someone's gonna bust their controller. Someone's gonna break their arm. I mean, it's oh god, the 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 list of deaths and fatalities. Not fatalities. The the death of objects that died and got smashed. There was literally a like a website for that stuff. All right. The Light Brigade VR, uh, Road to VR Review, the gun-toting spiritual successor to In Death. Now, I haven't looked at this yet. I'm going to hold off. The Light Brigade does look promising. We were saying that last time. Okay, that's promoted. Let's go. The moves right now. Incoming call. Vibrating. <laughs> what is this? In seven days, you will die. <laughs> oh, God. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's classy shit. Look at that. That is... That is beautiful. That's fucking... That's so funny. Go, go, the ring. Yeah? Go, and I've... Every single fucking time I do this. Every time. Every every single one of these goddamn recordings. Every one. Enhance confirms surprise tomorrow. Who is Enhance? What is Enhance? I'm gonna do it again, aren't I? God damn it. My guess would be eye tracking to place the pieces. Uh, what are we talking about? Enhance. What's enhance? Enhance? That is enhance. Enhance. We're counting down to the release of Tetris Effect. Uh, coming to PS. That's really small. Coming to PS5 and PSVR on the new VR headsets launch day. Uh, there's some stuff we haven't revealed. Keep your eyes, yeah, eyes, 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 eyes. It's going to be eye tracking. You can eye track to place your pieces. Holy shit, that's fundamentally, it's a fundamental improvement over how Tetris works because you no longer have to misplace your blocks. You just boom with your eyes and confirm with the press. That is going to fundamentally change Tetris. Oh, feck, 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 feck. That's cool. That's really cool. I like Tetris, but my wife is so much better at it than I am. She is so much better. Maybe this will give me the advantage I need. <laughs> hey, honey, you play on your uh, your quest. I'm just gonna just gonna hop quickly into the um, PSVR two. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Five ways Horizon Call of the Mountain adapts the world of Horizon. There's so many things. This is PlayStation blogs, articles, devs announcing. It's like fireworks going off. <laughs> That's seriously it. This is just fireworks. It fireworks the whole fucking way. And then they're going to save so they're going to save so that Astro's Playroom gets announced like the day of launch. They're like, "And Astro's Playroom is now VR enabled." That's what they're going to do. Um Oh man. Okay, let's just look at this because oh god, that's tiny text. What? Haptic feedback and headset feedback immerses you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thunderjaw, Stormbirds beating. I'm going to not read this right now, I think. But there's just, there's enough pictures. Like, you look at this, you look at the detail of the bow, and you just know you're going to get smitten with that. Like, all the little eccentric pieces of the model. Designing Rius's, 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 Rius's bow? Rius. Rius? Rius. I have no idea. I'm going to sound like an idiot in the future. And that's in the near future. For example, when the bow is fully drawn, small carbon fiber feathers at the top pop open out. I always thought of these as some kind of threat display you might see in birds. Oh, God. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it just sounds amazing. It really does. I need to change how I function. That's so cool. Oh, God. Just a reminder that PS App has a reward system they call PlayStation Stars. Spend $120 and you can get a $5 store card. Uh, they also have challenges such as play a certain game, blah, blah, blah. I made over, I made 20 bucks in four months. Yes, I remember that. Um, that's a good point. Buying that much in games is going to be easy when VR comes along. Uh, no Man's Sky is on sale. I've heard good and bad. Should I jump on it? Why? Okay. This is a good point. This is a very good point. Platinum the game twice. Really fun. Loads of content. I recommend this game. 
done, but what do you like about this? Explore, collect resources, buy spaceship, fly spaceship, fight spaceship, build space fractors. Freighters? What's a space? Oh, freighter. Freighter. That's not how you spell freighter. Uh, build on planets, travel galaxies, tame animals. Uh, I'm glad it doesn't say anything worse with animals. Make provisions, go on quests, discover planets. You are collecting shit, upgrading your gear, building, and exploring. Yeah, exactly. Um, graphics are good. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we've seen enough of this. No Man's Sky is like... It's fine. It's quite good. Um, Rush of Blood to Switchback. There were some good shots of people playing Switchback recently. Mike, GT, and... Um, that... Uh, the dude with too much beard hair. What's his name? Feardo Fenjo, I think. Feardo Fenjo. Uh, Synth Riders. Right. Synth Riders there. Anyone else noticed a few of the February PlayStation Plus Extra games? Look like they can be played in VR. RE7, Ace Combat, Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 is not a VR game. Uh, be nice to get a freebie, right? They're like, no, that's not how this is going to work. Um, use cinema mode. They'd have to announce backwards compatibility and they're not getting them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a hidden game we don't know about? What is this? We are told there might be some hidden games we don't know about. You're a hidden game we don't know about. I hope you're excited for me. I'll fucking love this insult. What does it mean? Use it all the time. <laughs> God, that's great. That's so good. Yeah, wrong Borderlands version. Um, no, that's great. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I know. This is amazing. Confirm Solaris Off World Combat 2 after German PS blog slip. Oh, so that's why they announced it. Uh-huh. Solaris 2 was the one thing in the blog post where I thought maybe the freelance author just made up a personal wish list since the devs are working on Firewall Ultra. This pretty much now confirms the rest of the blog post was also real. Wow um it's amazing it's such a good game it's really really good yeah it's like man they actually went ahead with a sequel to one of the bigger letdowns the design decisions for the game were baffling and the user base died almost instantly i just i don't think i don't agree with these guys at all i think it's one of the best fps's i've played in vr it could have been in my top 10 it could have um, I don't have a top 10. I only have a top five. Uh, Wingman, yeah, is there. What else? So we've had a few kind of quick leaks. People want rigs. I don't want rigs. I know what I want. You know what I want. Fox Machina. That's the game that belongs on PlayStation. But it's a small team and they focused all their work on PlayStation. Vox, you need to come to PSVR 2. That game will kill. The radio comm system, walking around in mechs, jettisoning in all kinds of missiles and stuff that game is unfathomably cool if you don't know vox machina go and check it out it is amazing it's amazing that they got it onto quest the single player is pretty rubbish in my personal opinion i didn't get to beat it because it was like i had to bail after a couple of hours but the multiplayer is incredible incredible like that's one of those games where like i could spend my life just doing that one thing because there's so many nuances to it it's so good. Well, that now settles that. The cable does just plug in. It does. It's like a little pop jack. Now, it's obviously kind of like a proprietary kind of job. I wonder if you're going to be able to use, like, get it into the headset with a third-party cable. This looks like something a third-party could do. And what is that? That's the audio? Yeah. Wait, where's the audio jack on the headset? Oh, God. Please don't tell me it's hanging on the cable. Please don't. I don't think so. This pistol whip a cardio game. Hell yes. It absolutely is. Five finger touch detection sensors confirmed. That's not true. Five finger touch detection sensors are installed. Five finger touch. I think it's five detection sensors, not that you get the full hand. That's my understanding. Uh, let's see what people are saying anyway. Because that's pretty cool. Uh, L1, oh, okay, okay. Thanks for the clarification. So it's a five finger touch sensors, not a five finger touch sensors. Yeah. Yeah, it's three, 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 uh, three finger. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's perfect. Cactus cowboy plants at war. The heck is that? Never heard of that. 
Oh, this is just some. What? What the fuck is that? VR games. Oh, it's a it's a VR game. What the hell? Cactus Cowboy Plants at War? When hang on, I gotta zoom on this. Uh when the bug army attacked Cacti Island. I'm sorry. The Cacti Army deployed you into battle. Together with your comrade Emilio, you fight many battles in the trenches, cities, and woods of Cacti Island, unraveling the story behind the backstabbing attack of the Bug Army. While on your adventure, you make new friends, learn new skills, and survive the relentless attack of the bugs. Attack of the Bugs is a great... Like, if you don't like bugs, play Attack of the Bugs on PC VR. It's still good. Still good. Um, this World War II-themed VR shooter story shooter brings your weapon combat skills to a new level while taking you on a marvelous adventure through the cactus cowboy world i've got a feeling they're not going to do well but hey let's uh let's wait and see i don't know what's gonna happen okay no man's sky sitting down yeah it works totally fine uh having the sense controllers what it, that looks like nathy man what is this about I mean, the sense control is connected while playing. You mean charging? Um, oh, you mean like, yeah. The battery controllers were good. Apparently, there's supposed to be about four hours of battery life, which for gaming purposes, if we're, you know, comparing, it's pretty good. All right, I think we're getting down to where we were. What happened to the PS4 remake? Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I always think Jesus dude chill whenever someone comments shit on a post. Like, this has already been answered. Search the subreddit before, blah, blah, blah. Holy fuck, it's getting annoying with the same exact shit being posted by different people up a dozen times a day. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I, I personally don't mind so much. I mean, it gets to the point where it gets a bit crazy. I literally just sold my Lumix G7 and Oculus Quest 2. I was tempted to sell my PC so I could buy just a little more than enough. What did you buy? What did you buy, good sir? PS5 disc version, GT7, PSVR2, T3000 RS GT. Nice! Planning to go to a junkyard tomorrow so I can find a good seat so I can DIY a sim racing rig. Oh, man. Oh, man. DIY is definitely the way to do it. Yeah. Um, it would be totally fun to, to create a race seat like that. All right, that's our breaking point for today. That's enough of the hype from that. If you managed to stay for this whole thing, feckin' eh, you're on it. So here's an update. We just ended on the GT7 thing. The dude uh, here with the uh, selling the G29 replied and said, sorry, I can't do $200. So for the 200 and something price, I was like lowballing at 200 and I'm like, hey, will you do it for the the wheel and pedals. Uh, this was Canadian dollars, by the way, not American. And um, he got he declined. So that means I was like, I was like, I'm gonna do this one thing just to settle my mind, and then I will let the universe take it from there. And if as long as he says no, then I'm gonna walk away, and we're not gonna do GT7. Not yet. Not now. Not at launch. I'm just gonna go the other way. I know I'm sim ra ex sim racing guy, but there's a reason for that. It kind of sucked me in. It ate lots of my time. I'm spending that time with my kids, my wife now at the moment, and it's like, I will play the other games. I will play the other games. There was so much coming. There's so much still coming. Tomorrow is the 16th of February. That's like PSVR 2 Doomsday. Right? Isn't it? Or was that supposed to be today? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Today was... Today was awesome. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. There's just so many announcements. As I said, you know, getting Horizon uh, for free, Wanderer, Solaris 2, Walkabout, Project Wingman, man, all that stuff. What a great news day. I had to come on and share it. I'm still excited. There's still butterflies in my stomach. I'm still checking by order and going like, ah, like that. And it's going to be coming very, very soon. It's coming. It's coming here. It's coming here soon. In less than a week, we'll have it. Plug it in. Unbox. I think I got the order wrong. <laughs> We're playing soon. Let me out of here. Let me out of this raving madness. Give me my PlayStation now! <laughs>
<laughs> See you next one. I am wrapped in this mortal coil. <laughs>